Hello everyone, welcome to the Fullbridge podcast. I'm your host, Head Girl, and today I have a very special guest with me, Mrs Metcalf. Hello everyone, thanks for having me. Mrs Metcalf is the senior leader of men- senior mental health leader, and we're- today we are going to talk about a very important topic, mental health. So, Mrs Metcalf, what is mental health? Mental health is all about looking after your mind. Mental health is just as important as physical health. You know how you have to look after your body by drinking water, eating healthy food, doing exercise. You need to look after your mind as well. It's about the same sorts of things. Food and water and exercise can help your mind, but it's also about how you deal with pressures. The pressures that come in everyday life. It's how you become resilient. You always have to look after your mind. So, what makes you happy? Oh, well, I love singing. I don't know if you've heard me, I sometimes sing when I don't even know it. Singing in the corridors, oops. But I do love singing. I love listening to other people singing. I also like being outside in nature. And if it's a sunshiny day like today, I like to go outside. And I love spending time with my family. I've definitely heard you singing in the corridors. It always makes me happy though. So, what are you, what are you grateful for? As I said before, I like spending time with my family. I'm really grateful for my two daughters also for my friends, and I'm really grateful for being healthy and happy, which I am most of the time. Your family can always make you happy. So, what do you do if you're feeling a bit down? Well, I'm a really open person, so I always need to be around people, and if I'm feeling down, then I definitely want to talk to people around me, maybe my daughters or my husband, or maybe people at work. Talking to people always helps you. What makes you worried, and what do you do if you are worried? Yeah, I think being worried is one of those key things, isn't it, to look after your mental health. Um, Sometimes I worry about my children if they're having a bad day at school or at home. Uh, I also worry about the children here at Fullbridge, as that's one of the parts of my job. Uh, If I'm worried, then again, I talk to somebody. So I'll go and talk to Mr Smee or somebody at work that can help me. You You have to always be open with people. What can children do if they are feeling nervous? Children sometimes do feel nervous, particularly at school. I would always recommend a deep breathing technique. So if you breathe in and out really slowly, then it can make you feel calmer in your body and then in your mind. Should we have a go? Yeah. So you take a deep breath in, hold it for four if you can, and then breathe out. If you do this three to four times, it can genuinely make you feel calmer. It's a great technique. Well, Mrs. Metcalf, thank you for coming to the Fullbridge podcast today. And thank you everyone for joining us. Don't forget, if you are worried about anything, you can always tell a trusted person, even if it's your friends, an adult at home, or a member of staff at school.